welcome to Vietnam's Halong Bay. This breathtaking natural wonder has literally captivated so many visitors from all around the world. With this incredible limestone mountain just emerging out of the emerald water, Halong Bay is literally secure one of Vietnam's most popular destination and you must come here. But before we get into anything crazy, let's start at the beginning. We booked our three-day, two-night ticket from one of the ticket offices in Hanoi. And in the morning of day one, we got picked up right from our hotel and transferred to the cruise port at Halong Bay. The bus journey took around four hours, including the extra stops we made. Once we arrived, we waited for about 45 minutes. Then, when it was time for boarding, I literally have never seen a welcoming like this. I mean, the dragon was my style for sure. Love it. Our boat was anchored a little further away so that we needed to take a taxi boat to board the Hera Classic. Hello. Upon arrival, we were greeted with a delicious watermelon juice, which I did not drink because I hate watermelon. And seated according to our room numbers. Then the crew manager of our boat gave us some more information of the itinerary, and all I can say is, it's packed. I mean, look at this. After that, it was time to check into our rooms, where our luggage was already waiting for us. In the bathroom. Damn. Since we wanted to stay two nights on the boat and booked last minute. We couldn't find a boat that had still two separate rooms available. So that's why the three of us are staying in the same room. But the room was really beautiful and also the bathroom was luxurious. And of course the view was outstanding. After moving into our cozy rooms, it was already time for lunch. And just a little tip, come early since it's a buffet. But wow, the variety of food was incredible and everything tasted very delicious. All right, first activity of the day, we're gonna go see a special cave. I believe that is actually what it's called, a special cave. <laughs> Surprising cave! And I guess Bally is sitting this one out because she just wants to sleep. Next up was the cave exploration. Bali decided to skip it and just relax on the boat. But Bali's dad and I went on the excursion. Dog. <laughs> uh, the dog is living the sea life. Destination arrived. Oh my god, look, they all <laughs> they all have like the red hats and stuff. And up we go. Traffic in paradise. This that view is amazing. There's absolutely so many people. Yeah. <laughs> it's just insane. <laughs> oh man. Uh, you're good. Oh my god. Place is absolutely packed. So many people. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. The cave is actually pretty cool. It's just the amount of people that is in here all at once because everybody, all the ships just arrive at this spot almost at the same time because that's how it is. And you'll get to definitely enjoy spending time with millions of people and trying to find a spot where you can enjoy all the cave for yourself. It's gonna be impossible, but 
It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> This is like a third section or something. Oh my god, look at the size of this place. Bro, is that what I think it is? Ah, you're teasing me! Naughty, naughty! This place is absolutely massive. I can see the exit. We're getting so close now. They give you like about 40 minutes or something to do the whole thing. They tell you like stay like 50 minutes in the last one or something. Especially now that there are so many people. So do it fast. I don't know. Run to wherever you want to go. Find that spot. Take your shots and then whoop, move to the next one. Ah, look at this view. We made it, alas. feels much better so two things happen after the cave everybody went for a hike and then a little bit of swimming I missed it and also didn't want to go but either way and right now I think it's currently probably six or something so either they're having cooking class or not but I just wanted to relax because been a long day and uh, I think we're gonna have dinner later and after that who knows we skipped the next two activities all together which were a hike to a viewpoint and the daily cooking class so instead I'll give you a boat tour they have a very spacious dining room and then if you step outside this is the uh, I don't know. The Hera Classic Boutique. And now we are at the very top deck. On this side, you can totally see people getting married right here. You see that? I can totally see it. And the first floor and the second floor, it's all just rooms. Second floor and the main. And that's about all we have here in this ship. Around 7 p.m. it was time for dinner and we made our way to the second floor where a beautiful decorated dining room awaited us. Yeah. Looks like it's fancy yeah. dinner tonight. Yeah. 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 Meal number one. Now they brought us finally baby food for the three of us. Noodles. It's so pretty and so small. And the final course. All right, you can take the watermelon now. She's stealing my food as usual. And you can take the melon as well. Stealing my food once again, as usual. That's all I'm left with. We don't do that here. The first day has come to an end and we're already excited for day two. All right, good morning. Whoa, I still need to wake up. There's gonna be a lot of things today. Right now we're gonna have breakfast and I think later we're gonna go kayaking. It's gonna be almost all day. Well, from like 8 till to be 30, that's when we come back to the ship. So. After breakfast, we needed to transfer to the day boat. 
since not many people chose the three day two night many boat companies collaborated and put their passengers all in one of these day boats where we will spend the day and go on different excursions first up was the oyster farm as we took a passenger's boat to change the official schedule all right we made it to our first first stop more people arriving so we have learned that there's like three different kinds of pearls that they can produce here depending on the shell mm -hmm. and the, the shell or the oysters actually that produce the pearls they live pretty long though around four to eight years or something and the biggest pearl that they can produce is like from the biggest oyster and it's like 20 millimeters diameter really? Like a really big oyster and it takes eight years to grow that pearl wow that's crazy yeah Damn. and the mother pearl gets implanted into the, sh the um, oyster and then it grows the pearl and they also have th three different kinds of grades like mm, yeah medium grade, A grade, and triple A grade. So, the more expensive, the rounder, the more purple. Since it was kind of chilly, and we didn't want to get wet, we opted for the boat instead of the kayak. Two very nice Australians shared the boat with us. I wanted to apply for this lady's job, and to be honest, I think I was doing pretty good, not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> then we see beautiful limestones, really cool caves, and I think that's what you would call this, I hope, and just enjoy the peaceful ride. The last stop of the day excursion was Three Peaches Beaches, where the brave ones who go for a swim in the freezing waters of hell, meaning not me. Back on the boat, we had a rather unexpected experience. Two ladies on a small boat approach our cruise and offer us beer, a much cheaper price than our boat itself, but I still managed to bargain and got them even cheaper. Get some black beer from the market. I feel like a pirate. Moha Savayo! At 7, it was again time for dinner, but this time we got a really surprise as we were served a gourmet dinner that was incredibly delicious and also looked super fancy. Well, the new passengers got the same dinner that we had the night before. Every night, you can try your luck at squid fishing, but we didn't get very lucky. Come on, you got this. Tomorrow is already our last day and we have one more excursion in the early morning. <laughs> After breakfast, we made our way to the cave, where we again chose the boat over the and kayak. They gave us like a pass or something for the cave that we're going. So you had two options. One is to go to the cave in kayaks and the other one is in this boat. And more than half people just decided to take the kayak. They're crazy. This is kind of misty and cold. I don't know, but oh well. Now, I'll take this time to tell you about the weather. If this is a major concern, then the best time for Holland Bay tour is in spring and autumn. To be more specific, in March, April, September, and October in this month, the weather is often delightful. Temperature is mild. The sky is clear and bright. We came in early March and I guess got super unlucky, so I hope the best for you. Now back to the story. We got really lucky to see some monkeys playing around here. Mm. 
Then it was time to return to the big boat. <sighs> whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. We'll miss you. Goodbye, Hera. We had a good time. We don't want to leave, but we're being forced to leave. And on the way back to the port where we serve an early lunch. He didn't want to eat too much, so he's just having a little. Well, here we are after enjoying our last brunch in the ship. And now we get to enjoy this last few minutes, enjoying this beautiful, beautiful view. Like everything is just so perfect. Like I couldn't ask for a better weather than what I have today. Thank the gods. Thank you, Odin. Thor. I think she's disappointed of my jokes. <laughs> I don't know. Are you doing? You always make funny jokes. If he didn't say it yet, I will. Thank you all for watching. Click up here to watch the must-do in Vietnam. See you next time. Peace and love.